This is Pat's Papers, a collection of headlines that we think you might pick if you had a chance to read all these papers for yourself. Here's what we're looking at today. There is a green theme in the nation's newspapers today. The New Haven Register has a special Earth Day section and a front page story about a wind turbine project there. The Palm Beach Daily, Palm Beach Daily News switches to a green color scheme on its front page. The Herald in Brownsville, Texas offers some simple tips, things like recycle and get out there and plant a tree. Similar front page in West Hawaii today, which picks up an, an Associated Press story about easy green upgrades you can make around your home. The LA Daily News reports that a California councilman thinks he's found the answer to his state's water shortage in a million cactuses. And the New York Post crowns the least green celebrity on page six in the gossip column. Mariah Carey took that honor this year for flying her personal trainer in from St. Bart's. A story that will interest a lot of parents in the USA Today. Scientists are on the verge of finding ways to combat childhood food allergies. It's not to the point of a solution yet, but promising treatments are moving out of the lab and into clinical trials. More welcome news on the front page of the Wall Street Journal. Some major companies said on Tuesday that the economy is reaching its bottom, though the paper says that optimism is tempered by those who say it's still too early to call a floor to the recession. According to Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner, the Obama administration is going to allow some big banks to repay their bailout cash early. A story on that in the LA Times today. One CIA torture story leads the New York Times uh, again today. Although there's two different angles in this one. First, that political leaders approved the torture methods without any significant review. And secondly, that President Obama is not ruling out legal action against those who developed the legal rationale for the interrogations. There are some products that have a knack of riding out the recession. The Kansas City Star this morning says those products include the McDonald's Quarter Pounder, movie tickets, and French wine, things that always seem to find a market. Experts call this the lipstick effect. If E.T. really has a home, it may be found soon. That in the San Jose Mercury News, a profile of the new automated planet finder, a special telescope developed by scientists at the University of California, Santa Cruz. I get tired sometimes typing a, a three-line email on the little keypad on my iPhone. Peter Brett of Brooklyn profiled in the New York Daily News today. He typed his entire novel with his, with his thumbs while commuting on the subway. Lindsay Lohan likes boys again. The Paychex Gossip Call in the New York Post says that she's getting over her breakup with Samantha Ronson by drowning her sorrows in a sea of men. And in California, 55 people are competing for the ultimate border contest this week. The New York Times says the combined snowboard, surfboard, and skateboard competition is kind of like a triathlon for extreme sports. We do this every day, and each morning we send out our email. It's a list of our favorite stories delivered straight to your email inbox. You can subscribe at patspapers.com. That's also where you'll find the links to all the stories I've talked about today.